Hey everybody, it's Harry from Step Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. In today's episode, I'm going to handle a viewer request. I posted a number of beef short rib videos already. And for those of you who are not aware, the beef short rib is actually the spare rib of the cow. I have a couple of really nice beef short rib here. And one of my viewers said, Harry, Harry, that was a great recipe you showed us on the butter cola ribs. But is there a difference when you cook the entire rack or do you cook individual bones? So I realized that, you know, I have never tried to compare cooking a full rack against the individual bones on the short rib. So in this episode, we're going to do a little quick test cook to see which option yields a better result. I'm going to use my Slapper Daddy first place, USA Moolah Beef Rub. We're going to season up these beef short rib racks. We're going to cook one full rack and one cooking it in three individual bowls and share with you guys the results. So which one do you want to go first? Do you want to go for the three bowl or the single bowl? Let's do a test. When you prep short ribs, what I like to try to do is remove some of the silver skin and the fascia of the front. Uh, let's sharpen our knife here. I have a little six inch boarding knife that I'm going to use. This is a rapid steel that works really, really well. If you want to get one of these things, uh, they are about $60 to $65. And I'll leave my Amazon store link at the bottom. So the first thing you want to do is trim off the silver skin here. So there's quite a lot of it here. If I put the rub on this fat and the silver skin or the fascia, it's really not going to stick. So what we're going to do is we want to trim some of this off so we can get down to the meat, expose a little bit of the meat. Get some of the rub to touch the meat at the bottom. So take your time, use a sharp knife. Try to trim it so that you don't lose any meat. Uh, try to preserve as much of the meat as you can. Nice trim layer like so. If you don't do this, then the meat doesn't really have a lot of flavor. You're not going to get a really nice uh, kind of a smoke ring and the flavor will not penetrate the meat entirely. So try to get as much off as you can. No big deal if you can get all of it off. And that's pretty good. And this is ready to go. Now let's trim the second one, same idea. Cutting it into three bones like so. One, two, and three. So people always ask, uh, do you trim the, uh, pull the membrane off the back? For beef ribs, you don't pull the membrane because there's no need to, you're not gonna eat the back part. So we usually leave the back membrane on, unlike a spare rib or a St. Louis uh, rib we take the membrane but for beef ribs just leave it on like that let's go ahead and season up the individual ones and season the whole rack throw it in the uh, smoker and see the results so that my moolah beef rub will stick better i want to use the schmear you can use a little bit of mustard a little bit of worcestershire today i'm going to use a little bit of concentrated beef broth uh, this is kind of a soup stock beginner so you took basically concentrated liquid i just want to put about maybe one teaspoon on top one tablespoon just to wet the meat so that it has a nice tacky surface this gives it additional oomph of beef flavor and you can typically get this in a restaurant supply store if you look at my amazon store link below uh, that's good. i'll leave a link uh, in the amazon store if you really want to get this one this is a how we supercharge our flavors this is good for brisket any kind of short rib any kind of beef product uh, you want to just supercharge the flavors you can also use this on steak so this is kind of a little competition secret uh, that we use, we use a little beef concentrate. So now that the uh, meat is very nice and tacky, you can see it's a nice glistening color here. We're gonna basically season the sides also. So I'm gonna get the meat wet on the side here. Like so, and on this one, we're just gonna cook the whole rack. So I'm gonna use my uh, first place USA Mula beef rub. It's got a whole bunch of ingredients in there, including shiitake mushrooms, uh, citric acid, powdered Worcestershire, maple sugar, and a whole bunch of other exotic ingredients that I've used uh, to up my game in the competition circuit. So I'm gonna put some rub on it like so. A little bit in the back, bit on the side. Shake it, apply it at about eight to 10 inches like so. Shake it some more, loosen it up. You can see the size of this puppy here. It's huge rib bone. So there you have it, we're ready to go. Put a little bit on the back. And let's go fire up the smoker. Let you guys know whether this is better 
all a whole slab is better. I've set up my Weber Smoky Mountain 18 with a little bit of uh, cherry wood and some charcoal. I'm just gonna put the uh, ribs in and let it smoke until I have a crust on it. All right, let's uh, let it get some crust and come back to check on it and then want to wrap it later. We've been cooking it for about a couple of hours now and uh, I give it a little flip over. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty gorgeous. Here's the single rib, beautifully crusted. I'm gonna wrap it into a single bone. I'm not gonna use any kind of a uh, seasoning. Just gonna do a simple burrito style wrap like that. Beautiful crust, beautiful color. So at this point in the foiling, you can cook it in the pit or you can cook it in the oven, doesn't really matter because BTU is BTU. So to save time and fuel, I'm going to just cook it in the oven and remove it when it's probe tender. My ribs are done and I have my uh, three bone ribs here and my single bones. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap them. We're going to cut them up, do a taste test. Did you want some? Bones. Look at that. That's a Tyrannosaurus bone right here, man. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. That's fantastic. Okay, here's one. Alright, this is really hot. Let's uh, go ahead and get some of my Slappy Daddy um, first place uh, championship sauce on it here. It's a nice, just a coat on the outside. And uh, Beans is jumping on my leg here, waiting for his uh, turn to try some barbecue. Let's give this one a cut here. Gorgeous smoke ring. Let's cut this piece now. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see the ones that are single bone. All right, so I guess the smoke ring is gonna be underneath. So I'm gonna take a cut through this one just to show you guys the smoke ring here. Yeah, so it's beautiful. I think they're comparable. I, I think I like the one with the, the bone in better. I think what I can notice is so much more moist. I'm feeling it here. See, look at that. It's really much more moist. The, the single bone is good, but the single bone actually dried out the meat a little bit more. So you can see, right, the, the moisture between here and here. So this is much more juicier. And this is also pretty good, but it's not as juicy. So here's the one that is cooked on the rack. So you notice that the smoke ring is not all the way around. On the one that is uh, cooked without the, with the single bone, the smoke ring is kind of all the way around. This one is also pretty good, but it's kind of just on one side, also very, very good. So in terms of smoke ring, obviously this one looks better because you get the smoke on all the edges of the single bone. On this whole rack here, you only get the smoke ring on the top. So that for appearance wise, I, I think that the uh, single bone has a better appearance in terms of smoke ring for competition. For the taste test, I'm gonna borrow my daughter, Amy, who has really good taste buds. Uh, she's semi-vegetarian, so uh, maybe, I don't know how she'll react to so much meat. We're gonna taste the one from the full rack, this one here. We're gonna also taste the one from the single bone. And then the final arbiter of the flavor will be Beans. Beans is waiting here. Oh. Mr. Beans, he just had a haircut, so he's all nice and uh, trim now. So we'll, we'll, we'll have the humans eat the food first and then we'll test it on the dog. So Amy, go ahead and pick one, one piece any, anywhere you want to start. I'll try this one, the okay, I'll try single this one. one first. Single one, I'll say. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Pink. It looks like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Wow. More tender than it looks. Super good. Mm -hmm. Smoky, salty, oh, beefy. Oh, I dropped it. Beef. Okay. <laughs> Lucky dog. See? Do you heal on purpose? Right. It slipped and it fell down. <laughs> All right, so tenderness also okay, uh, but flavor is good, tenderness is good. Let's compare it against this one now. Whoa, it's really soft. It is soft, this is super tender, okay. Cheers, cheers, look at that. Okay, let's try this one. Mmm. Okay. Hands down. Okay, hands down, immediately better. Mm -hmm. Appearance wise, the single bone, cooked single bone has an edge, but Ooh. flavor wise, no compare. This it's one more is more, it's tender, about the same, but this is so much more moist. So I guess mm -hmm. when you cook the whole 
slab or rib, the moisture is retained. Uh, if you cook your single bone, you get a better smoke ring, but the juiciness, the uh, moisture, the succulence of it is reduced. So I, I think that hands down, right? Hands down, the, yeah. the rack is much better. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, there you have it. So for the, my viewer who asked me, which one's better cooking your beef short rib, single bone, or cooking a whole three bone rack? The answer is clear, right? It's so much better. So the rack is so much better. Very, very juicy, very moist, very tasty. The hint of salt, nice smokiness, but most importantly, it just has this succulence here mm -hmm. that, that you can see here. It's absolutely amazing eating here. This one is okay too, don't get me wrong. Both are really, really good, but this one doesn't have the succulence and the softness and the moisture that this one has because it's cooked single bone. It's dried out a little bit more. So that's the, the conclusion here. So thanks for watching my channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. So which one do you want to go first? Do you want to go for the three bone or the single bone? Let's do a test. Okay, Bean, go, go. go. Oh, oh, so... <laughs> so there you have it. You heard Amy's opinion. You heard Harry's opinion. And Mr. Beans is the final arbiter. He just went straight for the rack, the three bone one. So there you go. Mr. Beans, you are the champion.